Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to add Citrix hypervisor into Citrix Gen Center application. So basically, in the last video, what we did, we have installed one hypervisor called Citrix hypervisor and we will host all of our virtual machine on this hypervisor. But as it is a Linux flavor machine, so it is quite typical to manage uh, Linux machines in CLI mode. So for the same, one application is provided by Citrix itself, which is called Citrix Gen Center. So basically, it is a exe file and the size will be around. Let me show you here into the downloads. So this is a Gen Center file. It is a you know simple setup. You can install it by just clicking next, 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 that's it. Uh, like other applications, okay? Let me close this. And once you install this application, you will get this. Like, let me close again, click on start, Gen Center. So it is actually popping up on my second screen, so not an issue. So now this is our GUI tool. With the help of this tool, we can manage multiple hypervisors parallelly. So now what we have to do, we have to connect our hypervisor to this GUI application, right? So as you can see here, the IP address of our hypervisor is 10.54. So what I have to do, I have to click on add server. Then I have to enter the IP address of server. 10.54. Then I have to enter the credential for root user, which we have set up earlier. Just click on add. So now it is synchronizing with our hypervisor. As you can see, the host name we have given Citrix H01. So basically, this is a GUI console. Now, if you click on memory tab, as you can see, we have allocated 10 GB of memory of, uh, to this hypervisor. And so currently used is 1.9. Why? Because that Linux operating system itself using this memory. And so far we have 8.1 GB of memory is available for our use, right? If I click on the storage, so as you can see, the storage, what we have given to this machine, this is the part of networking as, as you can see and IC0, right? And the IP address, which is allocated to this machine into the console here. What screen you are getting here? This, right? So if I click here, let me enter the password for root user here, hit enter. So now to get same screen on this GUI application, we have one command, which is called as access console. Sorry console, C-O-N-S-O-L-E, access console, hit enter. And after that, you will get the same screen, right? What you are getting here, okay? So, <coughs> where it is? Okay, so now coming to the performance tab. So into the performance tab, how many CPUs and whatever the memory or network utilization is there, you can monitor those terms from here into the users. You can join this uh, hypervisor into the Active Directory domain as well, but for the same, you have to procure a license, right? Into the search tab, if you have more than multi means more than two or three or five hypervisors, you want to search for a specific hypervisor, you can use search tab, right? Coming to the objects, so let me explain here. These are the predefined templates given from the Citrix to install multiple flavors of operating systems like CentOS, then Red Hat, then SUSE Linux, then Windows 8, 10, Server 12, and you know, Server 1916. Local storage, these are the local storage, what we have aligned to this machine, right? And apart from that, we can also add any SKGI storage or any network storage to hypervisor as well. If I click on the virtual disk, so this is a DVD drive, right, for this machine. 
and this is our network part. If I click on the organization view, actually these are the tags actually. Notification into the notification tab, whatever the updates available for the hypervisor, you can also update hypervisor from this console. Let me click here and check for the updates. It is searching for the updates. Okay. <coughs> we have multiple updates available for this hypervisor, right? So I'm not going to update this hypervisor in this video. We will cover up this topic like how to update hypervisor in upcoming videos. Okay. So coming into the alerts, what we are getting into the alerts, Citrix hypervisor 8.2 has reach end of life. That is fine for us. We are just learning the things, right? Because we do not want to insert any license for our learning perspective, okay? So this is how we can connect our hypervisor to Citrix Gen Center, okay? And in a similar way, if you right click here on Gen Center, your hypervisor, you can create new VM from there. You can select the template. You can click on next and those kind of activities we will cover up in upcoming videos like how to create a VM on Citrix hypervisor. You can also use uh, this option as well like new VM to create a new virtual machine, right? So this is completely fine. So this is done in this video. I hope you are getting some knowledge from my videos. If yes, please do subscribe my channel, share my videos, like my videos. Thank you very much.